Fall is here. Halloween, right around the corner. And you know what that means? To me, it means that I need to get a Halloween costume. <laughs> My boyfriend and I wanna be Waluigi and Wario, and I'm gonna be Wario. It's gonna be very epic. No, but what it really means is that I need to make some changes to my Animal Crossing island. I have big plans. Slowly but surely, I have been shipping away at making my island a beautiful fall paradise. And I think the perfect addition to that would be to make all of my villager yards the perfect little trick-or-treat utopias. It's gonna be so cute. So let's see what we can get done today. I'm kind of obsessed with this time of year because all of the leaves are changing. We've got the chartreuse grass. It is about to get real brown real quick. And I still have all of this tropical stuff all around my island, the very bright colored flowers. It's gonna look so cool cool once I have everything all changed out. That is a future me thing though. <laughs> I'll get around to it eventually, but today we're gonna work on all of my villager yards. They're all decorated super cute, but they could use a little bit of a fall and Halloween kind of facelift. And then some of the yards, I will probably change the concept altogether. Not all of them though, because um, Marcel here, he has a yard sale, which I just think is the cutest stinking thing. So I won't be changing that, but I will be adding all sorts of fall things. And all 10 of my villagers have a yard of some sort, so we have a lot of work to do. And I think the perfect place to start is here with this cluster of three homes. The first home that we're gonna focus on is Lyman's. I decided even though he's a jock, he's also gonna be a plant boy. So he has a very planty, yard and i think it looks cute so i probably won't be changing a whole lot of it maybe some flower colors i also did recolor a bunch of these iron fences so instead of having blue iron fences all around the island i decided to be adventurous and i got this beautiful oh green one. It's not supposed to go there, but you know what I mean. And then there's that other item that's just straight up called fence. That comes in an orange variation. So you already know. I have a bunch of those ready to go. You also may have noticed that I'm in a completely different location. I didn't really announce this on YouTube much of anywhere. I think I mentioned it in a video once, but I did move into a brand new place. So here I am in a new space. And this is my very own office that I am in, ah, which is so cool. I've been slowly working on decorating it and making it my very own. When I went to TwitchCon, which I also will talk about, I got a buttload of new art prints. I'm trying to do an art prints gallery wall and I think it's turning out pretty cute. It's been such a struggle trying to move. <laughs> I don't know why it took so much out of me. I always remind people when they're like, oh, I'm moving, my go-to little phrase. One time I heard that moving is one of like the top 10 most stressful times in your life And ever since I heard that I cannot shut up about it But it seems that I maybe had forgotten that I said that and I believe in that because it was actually so freaking stressful I'm so glad it's over my whole house still needs to be unpacked and stuff because basically right when I moved I went straight to TwitchCon and then I actually got COVID I have COVID right meow not fun zero out of ten experience i figured that i was gonna get it though because you know it, it's twitchcon the amount of people that were like coughing and sneezing all over me and the place it was pretty stressful <laughs> i'm not gonna lie <gasps> oh did i just eat a bunch of apples that were in my inventory that was so stupid i need to plant those in the ground i think apple is just like the fall Fruit. That's what all of my trees are probably gonna be for the fall. This is looking really good so far. I think I'm just gonna get rid of some of these objects in favor of a little tiny pumpkin patch. A lot of this stuff isn't gonna be grown until we actually time travel. So please forgive me. We're gonna have to do that at the very end. You may be wondering, how are we going to trick or treatify these yards. Well, I have the answer here. I'm putting down a little wooden table and then on top of it, I'm just gonna put the spooky candy set up and it'll be like, trick or treat, come get your candy. And eventually I wanna collect enough of these candies. I gotta buy them, you know, one per day to lay out on the ground and have it be like a super cute thing like that. 
I don't know, I thought it was pretty cute. I think that this pergola is gonna stick out like a sore thumb. Is it pergola? Am I saying that right? I might be sounding like a total dweeb right now. I think it's gonna stick out really weird, especially when everything else is gonna be not so green. I don't know if they make like a muted colored one. I don't know. I don't have the energy for that and I am craving big change. So instead, I think I'm just gonna change up the whole yard. I said I wasn't gonna do stuff like this, but here I am. That rattaloid is also driving me fucking insane. I don't think I can stand it much longer. So what do you think about this pathing? I'm really liking it. I'm especially liking how open it feels. Before, Lyman's yard seemed a little cramped to me. So this is a refreshing change. And I'm gonna drop the candy right here in this little empty spot, and hopefully I can make a little candy trail eventually. <laughs> And that bike, oh yeah, that bike right back there, mm, that is sexy, sweet. And then once everything is grown, it's gonna look so pretty. Lyman's house, success. I'm gonna move on to a bigger challenge here, and that is Sylvana's house. Sylvana's cute. Okay, here's what I did with her. There's all these fall codes in here. It's kind of a mess. I'm not using this mushroom, by the way. It was an experiment. I'm gonna have to take it out. It just doesn't fit my island like 100%. Anyways, I don't need to explain myself. This is Sylvana's little laundromat yard, and I'm not sure how I'm feeling about it for the fall. She was a cute spring and summer concept, if you know what I mean, but for the fall, I don't really know what I'm gonna do. I think I'm just gonna get rid of everything and figure it out from there, yeah. Wow, okay, it looks so empty. <laughs> Ooh, maybe I shouldn't have done all that. Ooh, what are we going to make of this? Okay, okay, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I have the spooky table, where is that? Where is that? Spooky table, what if, hear me out, we did A, beautiful, gorgeous, excellent, cutesy little fall tea party. I love the idea. I'm gonna grab a bunch of stuff. I hope I have a bunch of stuff to do this with. Okay, yes, this is getting just better and better. And now I don't know how to fill up the rest of this space. Okay. <laughs> I wanna change this to be dark brown, to be more in line with our fall color scheme. And look what I found in my storage, a hedge standy. And, okay, cause that wasn't what I was trying to pull out, a tree. Standy. I think that's so picturesque storybook. Beautiful, gorgeous little vibes for our cute tea party. There also might be way too much tree action here, but it's a risk I am truthfully willing to take. We have our candy bowl out. This is our beautiful little um, fall tea party. Some trees are planted as well. We just kind of have to wait. Once we time travel, it'll all be... Um, gravy. I was also thinking about adding in some of the dead trees. Do you know that spooky tree item that they added when they added the Halloween update? Did you know that I think it was last year they made a version without the pumpkins on it? Yeah, I didn't know that until today. Maybe I did know that, but I just didn't remember. It's called decayed tree. We just should also appreciate things when they're dead. Isn't that like some serious Halloween messaging right there? And what else do we need in terms of Sylvana's yard? I think the pathing looks pretty good. One thing that might be weird is this empty space. However, a tree is supposed to grow right where I'm standing. So I don't really know what to do about that. Besides add in another flower and call it a day. Oh, you know what I keep forgetting? I have all of these like spooky lantern things. Yeah, okay. When in doubt with an empty space, oh, a spooky lantern stuff. Cool, I'll add that and then we will move on to Marcel's yard. Gamers, I would consider this a net positive in here. I changed the color of this light thing and I added this bench. You're not even gonna see it because there's gonna be a tree. But we, me and you, we will know it's there. If it takes up too much airspace and we can't see like this candy and all of the cute little details, maybe I'll get rid of it. Anyways, like I said, we have got to talk about Marcel's. And you know what? I, I just think that this yard is so perfect. It's so cute. I really don't want to change anything about it because it would break my little heart. Maybe we can get creative and make some of these items a little bit more folly with like customization or I don't know. Oh gosh, we have a lot to figure out. Okay, let's get to work. There used to be a globe here. 
So you know what I got instead? A cool globe that is brown. Okay, epic. I also have customized the color of this bad boy here, the stacked bottle crates. Oh, cute with a little apple. I don't know why I'm acting surprised. I just literally customized that myself. I put the apple there, but there she is in all of her glory. And I also got some other random kind of items. Oh, shoot. Also, should I change the color of that chair? Ugh, there's too many decisions that need to be made, actually. Maybe I just get a different chair. That chair is just not capturing the essence of fall. And you know what? I am a little too lazy to go and change the color of it myself. You know what was in my storage? Um, that one. Yeah, okay. Case closed, game over. We don't have to do anything else. Ugh, what do you want, Gail? Can I get your help with something? Tangy's always helping me out. I bought her a present. Now I feel funny just walking up to her gift out of the blue. Okay. Hey guys, remind me that Tangy, I have something for Tangy. I'm not gonna remember that. <laughs> okay, the candy's going on the hay bale instead. Just trust the process, please. Cool, this yard just needs some finishing touches and then she is done. Done dimadome. Should I make you guys wait until the very end to see what the houses all look like? when we're time traveled to the right time, with the right grass color, all of the trees grown. And the next two houses we have today are Monty's and Toby's. It feels like just yesterday I was working on their yards, which it actually was kind of like just yesterday, because I think this was one of the last things I did before I finished my summer version of my island. So this is still pretty fresh in my mind. They have a little bit of a joined yard situation with walk-ups to both of their houses and a tiki bar in the middle. Obviously, this has got to go. I think it would be sort of fun to have a little haunted house kind of walkthrough. You know when people go all out for Halloween and they have a total decked out yard situation with decorations outside the whole nine let's try to achieve something like that first things first obviously I got to clear everything out and get all of the stuff and the things I got so much good stuff here you don't even no. First of all, these are the fences that I was talking about earlier I have the orange version that I'm gonna be doing for the fall version of my town. Be jealous. <laughs> the green is very cute and it's definitely one of my favorite things. But you know, since it is a change of season, I figure we could have a little bit of a change of scenery. Now, I gotta get rid of all of this sand, of course. And then what? I don't know. Do I want this to be a very spooky excursion? Like, is it a pee your pants type of haunted house or what? I really don't think so. I don't have like a bunch of items and custom design codes to really execute something like that. I think instead we're gonna be kid friendly. Lots of pumpkins, I don't know. Maybe no blood designs. Just clean, good, wholesome family fun. I laid down a few trees and they'll grow. And I put the candy bowl in front of Toby's house here. And then what else can I do? I don't know. Add in a little bit more pathing. Like I said earlier, I just got back from TwitchCon. Twas a very cool and interesting experience. It was really my first time out in the wild as like a creator. I don't know. It was just different being a creator and being amongst so many other creators. What are some highlights from TwitchCon? Um, I got to see Chase Crossing's face before I anybody else did. I got to meet so many people IRL that I know from online that I, I don't know, it's just always exciting to meet people that you talk to and you play games with and stuff. Like my friend Lissa who helps edit videos. Meeting them was super cool and rooming with them. Loved it, 10 out of 10 experience. I am really bad at laying pathing. Anyways, I also was super starstruck seeing all of these people that I watch for hours and hours and hours on end, like seeing them out in public. It's kind of insane. I got to take a picture with Saikuno, so loved that experience very cool for me. Big things are happening with List the Last. I also got to meet Lil Simsy, who is totally my idol. Meeting Lil Simsy was crazy because I, I just look up to her so much, obviously. And of course her lovely husband, Dan. Shout out Dan. And it was such a really great experience. I don't know, TwitchCon, there was a lot of really cool panels. I didn't really know what to expect going into it because I'd never been before. Everybody was super nice. All of the lovely other creators that I met, it was just such a surreal 
surreal experience. After TwitchCon, I stayed one extra day and I went to the zoo, which was also very epic. I love the zoo. I just, I love animals. And we got to go to the San Diego Zoo, which is like one of the best zoos ever. And I thoroughly enjoyed it. I only got to stay for half a day. I'm definitely gonna go back though. I have to see what the rest of the zoo is like. I think this is a good, a decent amount of dirt. But like I said, I did get COVID from TwitchCon. So I'm still kind of recovering. I think I have COVID brain right now. And I feel like I'm working much slower than usual on like my Animal Crossing Island, on videos. I can't hardly play any games just cause I feel like I'm gonna pass out. <laughs> I was trying to play Overwatch last night and I was getting so frustrated because I was like, I don't know if I'm this bad or if I feel like I just have COVID brain. <laughs> I think I'm just that bad though. I'm not, I'm not good at stuff like first person shooters. No way. But I've just been chilling at home and quarantining and stuff and obviously being very safe and sleeping a lot. I just rewatched Gravity Falls. It's a major comfort show and I needed it. But now that I'm back, my main goal is to play games obviously. Any game suggestions, please leave them down below. I want to make a video on Ooblets, so that is coming soon. I also would like to try out some other games on the channel, like there's this new farming game called Coral Island. And you know me, I am obsessed with a good farming sim. Any and all suggestions are totally welcome. I'm really struggling to put things down here. But you know what? Not bad, honestly. I think this is gonna be a really pretty walk up. I could even have it be like one entrance. Oh gosh, now I'm getting ideas. I took it a little too far. I went a little wild. I did the whole damn thing. I, I what do you want me to say? Uh, obviously it's not gonna look like this because all of these trees need to grow in. There's a ton of little saplings all around, but I have two little pathways leading up to both houses. It's a little bit hard to meander through but I don't care. Those spooky trees, they take up four tiles. So like, what do you want me to do? <laughs> I didn't have a lot of space to work with. Anyways, however, I would like for this little tiny spot right here to just be a nice pumpkin patch. I've just really got nothing else. I think it's cute and I think that we're ready to move on. We're only halfway done with the yards. Like, I'm not kidding. <laughs> this is bad. Okay, I have no idea how long this video is about to be. I don't know how many hours I've been sitting here. I think I'm gonna go eat a little sandwich and come back. But when I do, we're gonna be working on Dun 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 Norma and Gales. My very canon lesbian couple on Tiny Town Squared, my island. I'm back, I had a sandwich, I time traveled. Norma and Gales yard is pretty easy, honestly. It's just a bunch of flowers. It's a beautiful little flower field. So I'm just gonna get rid of the flowers that are not speaking to me. And then the ones that I'm gonna replace, I'm just gonna throw them away. It's just, you know, it's just the easiest thing. I also think I'm gonna get rid of squeak white. I cannot do that all day. No, thank you. Mostly just hot pink flowers. They gotta go. Not sure how I'm feeling about purples right now. You know what? Ask me later. Once I clear all these flowers, what am I gonna do? I'm just gonna replace them with the fall versions. <laughs> Love Norma and Gail. I didn't give them a very big yard to work with in the first place. They are nearby a little farm. So maybe I'll incorporate some more wheat fields. That's pretty much the extent of my creativity here. Wow, look how empty. Boom. Ugh, why? Why me, God? Round two, here we go. Nice. I also put a couple wheat fields. I planted an apple tree. I gotta pick my flower colors wisely though because their houses are pink and I don't want it to clash too much. I think the apple tree is even kind of pushing it, but we are gonna figure something out and we are gonna make it work. Bada bing, bada boom. It's done. I, I just did it real quick. It took me like 10 minutes. Gail seems to be enjoying it. I feel like it goes pretty well with their beautiful pink houses that I don't really want to change. I tried to tie in the purple of this spooky candy set with the little purple flowers. Did I do good? Did I do a good thing? That tree needs to grow in back there, but otherwise... <laughs> It's done. This was definitely the easiest of all the yards. I haven't touched anything around it, obviously. Oh, I did bring a light, actually. Never mind. I did lie. 
Um, that was a lie. I did touch this fence and this light, nothing else. All of these little stuff in these little areas I like to work on during stream because it's kind of mindless and it takes a lot of time and effort, but I can talk my ear off about whatever else and also just like be replacing trees and flowers and stuff. I love it. By the way, come hang out with me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash list the last. I play Animal Crossing and most other games. That is all. Moving on though, to our last block of houses, we got the three homes of none other than Tangy, Punchy, and Shino. Now, I do want to start this off by saying I think this is one of my favorite areas of the whole island. It's true. It's so, so pretty. I love this neighborhood. First off, we've got Tangy's house. She has a farmer's market, and to be totally honest, nothing is changing about this yard. Like, I'm dead serious. I think it's just so perfect, and why would I change anything besides the color of these little lights and... That's it. Oh, and some bushes, of course. I'm trying to change all of my bushes. Okay, next up, house on the left. My favorite villager of all time, Punchy. I'll probably just put trick-or-treat stuff out. Like, it's small. It's There's nothing really special about it. End of story. She knows house over here. Her yard is almost autumnal to me at this point in time. I could change the color of maybe like this bamboo bench and maybe just add, yeah, the little Halloween touches. Let's keep it simple. These yards are a lot smaller and I already got like the big haunted yard out of the way. Their yards aren't like clashing with my theme entirely too much. I'm just gonna go for it. First of all, I love that Shino is just hanging out in Tangy's yard. That makes my heart so warm. Okay, like I said, I gotta replace that and I have a couple of blue fences over here. Those trees are not harming anybody and truthfully I don't have a lot of the regular trees on my island. Like most of my trees are the cedars, the fruit trees, the bamboo trees. Whatever happened to just a good old-fashioned tree? Asking the real questions here. This is also coincidentally the area of my island that lags the most. I think it's because of all these cars. I'm gonna change all of this up for the fall like totally overhaul it which is good um because yeah it's really bad over there i had almost the perfect amount of fence i was missing one real sad day for me other than that no new developments here i keep walking away and then thinking i'm good and then i will find something that needs to be replaced like i did just now i don't have another light post on me do i oh god don't bury it in the hole please if this is a black street light I'm gonna lose it. Oh, to have brought a black street lamp with me. Genius, I tell you, just simply genius. I can really feel the lag, especially like right here. Oh, this is bad. That cherry tree, you know, I feel like I can let her slide. I just want it all to be apple. I don't mind if Shino is like, not like other girls and she's different and she's the only one with a cherry tree. It feels like a, a just Shino things type of thing. Bada bing, bada boom. All we gotta do, replace what we have taken, which I wish I could remember everything. I also did not forget this little table and candy set thing that I've been doing. Gotta be consistent. Every house has one, except for Gail and Norma. I ended up just putting one. Do we really, like, do we really need to talk about it? They are together. So of course, duh, they just have one candy basket. Oh, punchy. Punchy, punchy, punchy. You're making my life so easy right now because I really just can't be bothered to change anything about your yard. I think it looks pretty sick. Maybe I'll add a flower. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I wonder why my island lags so much as I proceed to put down a bajillion new custom designs that didn't need to be there. So you know what I think I'm gonna do to close out this video? I'm gonna just go ahead and time travel and show you some wonderful beauty shots of everything that we have done today. And then keep in mind, this is the time of the year that I want to set my dream address for. So this would be the actual final result. Okay, are you ready? Three, two, one go. First couple builds here. We've got Lyman's house, Sylvana's house, and Marcel's. I personally think it turned out beautiful. No notes for any of these. I love how open it feels, but at the same time, it's got, you know, the little bit of fall elements to it. Oh, mwah, chef's kiss. Marcel's yard falls a little bit flat just because we didn't really change anything about it. However, I wouldn't change a thing. I think it's a great concept and it will last through the sands of time. After that, what did we do? 
two, we did Monty's and Toby's house. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this one. It's not really capturing the essence of it being like a scary haunted house as much as it is capturing too many items in one space. So if I were to change anything, maybe I would take some of the stuff out. After that, we did Gail and Norma's house. Easy peasy. Super sweet. Looks really nice too with all the uh, subtle little flowers. And the pink doesn't look too bad in the fall. I don't think I'll be changing their house exteriors. After that is our last little neighborhood with Tangy, Punchy, and Chino. These are also pretty good. I totally forgot to change Punchy's fence though, so I had to quick do that um, right before I took these clothes. Oops, turned out really nice and um, yeah, I don't know did pretty good. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to come and hang out with us on Twitch. I want to be a streamer and I want to be a gamer. I'm playing Animal Crossing over there as well as anything else that I feel like playing, so come hang out. Don't forget about my other socials as well. Everything is down below. If you have any suggestions of how I should change any of these areas, you better tell me. I hope you're having a great day and you continue to do so and I will see you in the next one.